إن في خلق السماوات والأرض واختلاف الليل والنهار لآيات لأولي الألباب As we learn more about the universe, we are continually amazed at the astonishing diversity and beauty we find. Though marred by the curse, the universe still exhibits the handiwork of the Lord. By learning more about the intricacies of the celestial realm, we gain an infinitesimal glimpse into the infinite mind of God. One extraordinary aspect of creation is the incredible range of sizes and distances we observe. The International Space Station orbits approximately 200 miles above the surface of the Earth. This is far higher than any aircraft, and yet it really isn't very far into space. The Earth itself is nearly 8,000 miles in diameter, and yet the expanse beyond extends to distances that we cannot truly comprehend. The space station and other man-made satellites represent only the surface of a celestial ocean. The Apollo astronauts traversed a much greater distance. Traveling at the speed of a bullet, they took three days to reach the moon. The moon lies at an average distance of 240,000 miles from Earth. This is the farthest that human beings have traveled into space. Yet, the Earth's distance from the sun is 400 times greater. The Earth orbits at an average distance of 93 million miles from the sun. But the outer planets orbit at much greater distances. Neptune orbits 30 times farther from the Sun than Earth does. The dwarf worlds Pluto and Eris are even farther out. Their orbits do not lie in the same plane as the planets. The orbits of all the planets could be contained in a cube that is six billion miles on a side. Yet, the distance to the stars is far greater. The next nearest star system is Alpha Centauri. How many solar systems would fit between the Sun and Alpha Centauri? The answer is an astonishing 4,278. It is a distance that is almost impossible to imagine. we can see that Alpha Centauri consists of more than one star. The combined light from these two stars appears as a single star in our night sky. Alpha Centauri A is the larger and brighter of these two stars. It is a glowing orb of hydrogen gas very similar to the Sun, though slightly larger. Its surface temperature is around 6,000 degrees Celsius, the same as the sun, and so it has a similar color. Alpha Centauri B is slightly smaller and cooler than the sun. Alpha Centauri A and B orbit each other every 80 years. A third distant star of this system called Proxima Centauri is faintly visible. The constellations look very similar to the way they look from our solar system. This indicates that most bright stars are far more distant than Alpha Centauri. The Big Dipper is a familiar sight. And so is the constellation Cassiopeia. Except there is now an extra star in this constellation. That is the Sun. 
As seen from Alpha Centauri, the Sun is just a bright star. The planets cannot be seen at all from this distance. As we journey back to the solar system, the constellations change only slightly. The Sun is over 100 times larger than Earth in diameter. And while most stars are smaller than this, some of the brighter stars in our night sky are considerably larger. Sirius is the brightest star in our nighttime sky. Sirius is bright because it is relatively nearby, a mere 50 trillion miles away. It is almost twice the diameter of the Sun. The light blue color indicates that Sirius has a surface temperature of around 9,000 degrees Celsius. So, blue stars are considerably hotter than the Sun, whereas red stars are cooler. Pollux is a member of the constellation Gemini. It is a giant star, nearly ten times larger than the Sun in diameter. The constellation Orion is a familiar sight in our winter sky. It has a number of stars even larger than Pollux. The center star of Orion's belt is called Alnilon. It is a blue supergiant. Twenty-five suns could be lined up across its disk. Blue stars like Alnilon are very luminous. They expend their fuel quickly and cannot last billions of years. So, blue stars remind us that the universe is much younger than is generally claimed. Secular astronomers are forced to assume that stars, like Alnilam, have spontaneously formed in the recent past. However, star formation is riddled with theoretical problems and has never been observed. Rigel is also a blue supergiant. It stretches nearly 70 suns across. As amazing as this seems, even larger stars have been discovered. Betelgeuse is one of the largest stars in the solar neighborhood. It is a red supergiant, even larger than Rigel. Betelgeuse is roughly 600 times the diameter of the sun. If Betelgeuse were placed at the center of our solar system, we would be inside it. Betelgeuse would completely engulf the inner planets. The size of Betelgeuse pales in comparison to its distance from our planet. Astronomers often use the term light year when referring to stellar distances. A light year is a measure of distance, not time. One light year is roughly six trillion miles. Betelgeuse is over 400 light years away or 2,400 trillion miles. Yet, it's one of the nearest of Orion's bright stars. Alnilam lies over 1,000 light years away.